<laughs> I forgot to save it. Forgot to save it. All right. Oh, the thing right behind me. No. D -d 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 <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Window? Oh my goodness. <sighs> Just hide. All right. I'm definitely running. <laughs> uh... Oh my god, this is my last void. Yep, I'm running. <laughs> I don't know why I hit. Alright, where am I going to be at now? <laughs> Damn, I wish I didn't waste two on Jacob. Oh my god. Run. Oh no, I'm still hiding. Oh shoot, this is my last one. Ugh. Okay, I gotta release it when it's not on me anymore. That's my only way. I thought, I thought I was gonna mess up him too. Like I passed it. Sure, I got I got no more opportunities. Oh Bro, I got no more chances to mess up. Oh my god. I got no more chances. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh. Forget it. I have to let go as soon as it goes away. I mean, it's my only chance. What? 
What? Oh my god. Use decoy. Oh. Oh, they trap it in there. Oh my god. <laughs> Shoot, you better run. Yo. Oh my god. Laura. Got no more chances to mess up. How did you do it? Uh, yeah, that's what so happened. So what exactly years. happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. No. Oh. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does. does. Actually, yeah. Actually, we need to know what we're up against, at least. Yep. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down oh, the Oh, behind you! Oh. Well. Oh my god. Oh, 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 almost set up. Wait, he's dead? He's dead? Oh my god. Travis! Travis, get it together, come on! Come on! I got it! I got it! I got it! Just get down! Try to shake him off, at least. Almost set up. Oh. Oh my god. Go! Oh. Where did he go? He kind of just disappeared. He's got to be nearby. Wait, where the heck is Ryan? Let's look around. Are you crazy? Oh, he's just like that. Are we there yet? <laughs> You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. All right. I got to be very smart because I don't have any more retries left. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. 
You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. Oh, so that's We could be was. killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. Hey. Go team. <laughs> It all makes sense now. You've got wolf blood? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Ooh. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't, I can't do that. It's yours. Uh, I gotta make a decision. You've a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. Take it. Thanks. That means a lot. Yeah, oh. uh, yeah, no worries. I guess. Oh, pungent. I guess it would be better for me if I had it because I have like the gun. So I guess that makes this make some sense. No, I don't have a gun. Oh, man. Tough decisions. See, I'm Laura, so I get... Yeah, see, I have the gun. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who are you talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vores. Silas's mother. I think. Who was she? Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Sheesh. 
Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Bro, why are you wondering on a thing your own, man? I'm Come sorry. on. Close. We must be close. Did you both see it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. Same. Mm. What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Oh, we here. I think that's it. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot the stupid girl! Shoot. So I think should be back to normal now. Please, let's just let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Oh, he's already human? The full moon. Oh, she's not going to be happy about this. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're <laughs> fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No, no. just be quiet. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. I bet. Now I will never leave you. We'll see about that. I'll never leave you. Mm, I had to do what I had to do. Chapter 10. Oh, I could hide so is that it? Of the as she sang. I beat the game? The six o'clock alarm would never ring. But it rings and I rise 
Wipe the sleep out of my eyes With shaven razor's cold Max! Alive! Having survived the night, Max was cured of the werewolf curse when Raya shot Chris. Bobby Hackett, alive. Uninjured, Bobby was able to fend off an attack from Chris, his brother, in werewolf form. Oh, Chris Hackett, deceased. Chris was killed when his favorite counsel, Ryan, shot him. Constance Hackett, deceased. <laughs> Laura shot Constance face in a struggle with four guns. Jediah Hackett, deceased. Jediah was shot to death by a vengeful Laura. Mm. Kaylee Hackett, deceased. Chris Hackett's daughter. Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for her. Jacob and Emma! Let's go! I really killed two characters, but I gotta love the deluxe edition. Gave me the death rewind system. Nick survived! Nick survived at night, and when Laura killed Silas, Nick's world curse was lifted. Abby survived! She made it alive in the surveillance room. Caitlyn survived by lowering Kayla up into the freezer using the loss. Hey, that was Kayla. Oh, Dylan lived to see the sunrise thanks to Caitlyn trapping Caleb in the freezer. Ah, oh. when Silas was killed, Kayla lost his robe and froze to death. Oh my god. Travis Hackett alive, survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw it in. Ryan alive. Ryan was killed where it was fiction when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the White Wolf. Laura survived Silas with a silver sh Oh, killed Silas with a silver show. Oh, that's him. Oh, now the police comes. Now the police comes. Hmm. Psycho teens charged after summer camp massacre. What do you think of that, Anton? Psycho teens, one of my favorite punk bands. Okay, so I actually have a really hard time knowing if you're being sarcastic or not. I was being sarcastic. Okay, that actually is. Wow. What a game. Hackett's quarry thing. Not this Hackett's quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty <laughs> teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast! No one's listening! You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who... I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation? Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence 
you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you... for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine, let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. God, sorry, the tape is just really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, my Tom. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. <laughs> what are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently they found another body. Whoa! Another body? You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're gonna do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine, yes, you it, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah, Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Oh, the guy? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, I, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but... course you can. What, do I have like a history of not verifying yes, my info? Yes, it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing, he's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Oh my God. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe, still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. Mm. I don't know, this is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're gonna present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's quarry. So maybe they mm. were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them too? Oh, please. Okay. So you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera, and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage, I can't tell. Yeah, okay. That's not nothing, I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm, yep. Their great, great, great grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Mm. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's 